Okay. Just got done recording vocals. I'm gonna put some auto-tune on there because that's what the cool kids are doing nowadays. Now it's time to find the key scale to this song. We'll start with A. Here we go. Nope. We'll go with B. Now we'll go to C. Two hours later. My toys. What's up guys, Key P with BeatsByKey.com and today we are going to be talking about three different ways that you can find a key scale to a song or a beat. As you saw in the beginning, most artists that don't know music theory tend to follow this trial and error method, just randomly selecting keys and pray to the music gods that it actually sounds good, the vocals. With this trial and error approach though, it's about a 50-50 shot that your vocals are in fact the right key scale to your beat or your song. That's why I wanted to help eliminate that and increase the accuracy of finding the right scale to your song so you don't have to be that person in the beginning of the video. So we're going to start with the first method and that is finding the key scale manually. Finding the key scale manually in my opinion is 100% accurate. It's never failed me. To find the key scale manually you do need to have a piano VST in your DAW. For this example I'm going to be using FL keys within FL studio. I'll also be using my MIDI keyboard as you guys can see here. You don't need to have one. This is solely for visual purposes and to have it easier for you guys to actually follow along. So to find the key scale manually, it does involve some music theory. We won't be diving in too deep about music theory, but there is plenty of great videos on this topic if you are interested. But for this video, all you need to know is there's gonna be seven keys that make up a scale within an octave. For example, this C note has a lower octave than this C note but they are both C notes. Within those C notes are gonna be seven keys that make up a scale. So as you can see here, I have two different beats in my playlist. We will be using the first beat, beat one, that's called Like You, as an example to find the key scale. Each beat is color coded though for your convenience. So you can see here beat one is color coded to beat one. Beat two in the mixer channel is color coded to beat two in the playlist. By the way, both beats are available on my website. Links are found in the description. It's a lot easier to find a key scale by listening to the chords or melodies of the beat. Usually that's found in the beginning of the first four to eight bars. So let's do that. Let's just highlight the first eight bars to the like you beat. And then once I press play, we will listen to the tones of the keys that we play on the piano here and hear if it's in tune or out of tune. We will start with the C note. Maybe we'll start with this C note just because it's a higher octave. Usually higher octaves are easier to listen to for tones. So we're going to play this C note and then we're going to end at this C note and then we're gonna play all the notes in between or within that octave. So as I mentioned earlier, there are seven notes that should be in tune with this beat. Let's go ahead and find what those notes are. So let's pull up FL keys, exit out of this. And again, we're just gonna be listening to this beat one. So here we go, let's press play. So right away, you can hear that this C does not sound like it's in tune with the rest of the beat or with this melody or chords. So let's go ahead and keep playing the keys and find out what keys are matching. The C sharp does sound like it's in key, so we'll keep it. Out of key, in, in tune. That's in tune, out of tune, in tune, out of tune, in tune, in tune out of tune, in tune. And then we're back at the C. So we found our seven keys that make up that scale. So again, those keys were a C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, and B. So a quick note for FL Studio users, if you are having trouble remembering what seven notes that you played, you can simply clone your piano VST, disable it so it doesn't play over your beat, Open this in a piano roll and then draw in the notes one by one. So if you remember right, it was a C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, 
and B. So there are your seven keys. This gives you a visual for the next step in finding the key manually, which is going to a website. So this is my go-to website for visually seeing what each scale looks like. By the way, all the links that I show you will also be in the description. So since I can't memorize all the notes for each scale, this website allows me to look it up. Here are all the keys that we played for the like you beat. And then all we have to do now is determine if it's a major or minor scale. For this beat in particular, it's a minor scale. So let's go ahead and click on minor scales here. And here are the pictures of the notes and scales. Now that we have this, we're just gonna find the notes that we played with the beat and then match it up with the pictures on this website. And sure enough, here it is. It's a C sharp, D flat minor. Here's all the notes that we played right here. A C sharp, D sharp, E, et cetera. <laughs> and then that's it. Now you have the correct scale in your pitch correction plugin. So for example, now that I know it's a C sharp, D flat minor, the easy part is going back to your mixer opening up whatever auto-tune or pitch correction plugin you have, and then just simply go here, C, sharp, and then minor. And then you are able to set the note transition and speed to whatever you'd like. The second way to find a key scale is by plugins. Depending on what kind of plugins that you're using, the accuracy will range anywhere from 80 to 90%. Plugins like Auto Key from Antares makes it super easy to find the key scale. For example, like we did manually, we just have to highlight the chord progression or melody part in the beat that's again, usually found in the first eight bars. And since we already have this highlighted, we will use this beat for example. So just a quick note too, it does help if there isn't any percussion sounds in the beat so like your kicks snares hi-hats etc so now that we got this highlighted here all we have to do now is just press play and have it work its magic you can simply press this button to reset it just to make sure it's actually listening to the right beat here so let's go ahead and play it And that's all. All right, so solely for note keeping, I did make sure that I wrote down what scale each beat is in. And again, they're color coded for your convenience here. So for beat one, we said that it was a C sharp minor or a D flat minor. As you can see here, auto key was correct. It says that it's a C sharp minor and that's, what it, that's exactly what we got when we found it manually. But let's go ahead and take a listen to our second beat here. Let's go ahead and highlight some, some of these bars. And we'll turn off beat one, turn beat two on, and then make sure auto-tune key is on, play it. So this is another example where the plugin is in fact correct. The pros to using plugins like this, it eliminates the extra time of trying to find the key manually. Um, there is no music theory involved at all, and you get instant results. The cons, however, it does cost money and it's not 100% accurate all the time or you aren't sure it is. Oftentimes when I'm using plugins like this, I end up trying to find the key manually first just to double check to make sure that the plugin is actually correct. I used auto key on 10 different beats and out of those 10 beats, nine of them were actually correct. To me, that's actually not too bad, but I like to be 100% correct, so I really recommend the first way <laughs> anyway. Still, I definitely recommend Auto Key from Interiors. Last but not least, the third and final way to find a key scale is by websites. There are so many different websites that you can use to find a key scale to a song, but the one that we will use today is called AudioKeyChain.com. This website is free to use and it's easy to work in, but the accuracy of the website is about 70% correct. Just like I did for the auto key plugin, I added the same 10 beats to this website and out of those 10 beats, seven were correct. AudioKeyChain.com is very easy to use. You just have to add the tracks and we can select both of them right here. Again, those are the same two that we've been using. Let's go ahead and choose them. And once you add the tracks, you simply press upload. It will analyze and detect the key scale and eventually tell you what they believe is the key scale of the beat. Once everything's completed, it's gonna show you the key scale right here and even the BPMs, although the BPMs are not very accurate either, but we're just using this for the key scale. Let's look at these key scales here. The first number here, you don't really need to focus on. The ones that you do need to focus on are the second letters right here. Now let's see if these are accurate. Again, we said that the like you beat is a D flat minor. If we go back to our charts, our reference, we see here that beat one is in fact a C sharp or D flat minor. 
So that like you beat is correct. But if we take a look at this thug beat, they say it's an E flat major. And what we have here is a G sharp or A flat major or an F minor. So this website is probably the least accurate way of finding a key scale, but it's still free, easy to use, and saves you a lot of time. And the best for those who don't have time to learn about music theory. Not to mention, it's also a way better option than doing the trial and error method that we did in the beginning of the video. That is it for me, guys. Please comment below if you have a different way of finding the key of a song or if this video helped you. Also, let me know what you guys want to see next. Remember to like and subscribe for more. I appreciate you guys and I hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace.